When we think of waste, we probably think of the bins being emptied. But in fact, household waste forms only part of the waste generated in the county. Together, Staffordshire and Stoke-on-Trent generate over 4 million tonnes of waste every year. Agricultural waste accounts for 10,000 tonnes. Household waste is 614,000 tonnes. Commercial and industrial waste comes in at 1,585,000 tonnes. And finally, construction and demolition at 1,957,000 tonnes a year. And by all the calculations, it's set to rise over the next 15 to 20 years. By 2025, we won't have enough facilities to deal with the waste, unless we plan for more. So what are we going to do with it all? There was a time when the whole lot would have gone to landfill, but landfill is not really a major option for the future. The government has placed a premium tax on landfill to discourage its use. Now, waste is viewed through the lens of a waste hierarchy. This is just a way of seeing which is the most favoured thing to do with waste and the least favoured. At the top of the hierarchy is eliminate. In other words, work on ways to avoid producing waste at source. A basic example for individuals is buying only what you need when shopping and only cooking what you'll eat. Next one down the hierarchy is reduce. This minimises the amount produced. For example, companies are now under pressure to look at the materials they use and how they package goods. Next is reuse, which is reusing items as many times as possible. There's an excellent example in Staffordshire. The Furniture Reuse Network, which is a number of not-for-profit charities in locations around the county, collects unwanted furniture that still is in good condition and resells it at hugely discounted prices to those most in need. So it has both social and environmental benefits. Next is Recycle. We have seen a massive rise in recycling over the past few years. It's included cans and glass, paper, garden cuttings, all going to recycling centres to provide a resource for manufacture. Also, building waste is being processed on site to provide a resource for reconstruction. Finally, there's energy recovery from waste. This is a waste to energy plant in Stoke-on-Trent. It uses household waste as a fuel to make electricity. This plant produces enough electricity to power 24,000 homes. Even landfill sites can be used to make electricity. The methane from larger sites is collected and used to power small generator plants which put electricity into the grid. But the ongoing issue is where do we place all the facilities we need to process waste. Waste processing is emotive. Take the example of sewage processing plants. By their nature, they need to be fairly close to residential areas and they can be unpopular. The challenge is to manage the waste in a way that keeps the balance between the needs for the quality of life for local residents and the needs for the efficiency of the plant. Likewise, recycling centres need to be placed near enough to a community to be useful, but in the best possible place in relation to housing. The centres themselves need to be designed to have a minimum impact. In fact, all waste management facilities need to be designed to a very high standard and located in the best possible place. In fact, that's the whole point of the Joint Staffordshire and Stoke-on-Trent Council's Waste Core Strategy. It's a balancing act between how much waste we generate and how we choose to manage it. <laughs>